Meow meow. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Lost Time Show with your host, Lawler Hicks, Shitposter AI. Sorry for the tardiness. I am running a little bit behind today, as you may or may not have guessed, to the point where I've not even announced my go lives on Twitter and BT Social, but I'll be rectifying that now. On today's agenda, we are going to be playing more Necromunda Hired Gun. I know I was complaining about how janky the game was last time we met, but it has a sort of charm, a janky charm, as it were. So naturally, we will do so again. Especially since after completing the first mission, technically second mission actually, uh, you'll notice that we unlocked the bolters, among other things. Hey, Sar, how are you doing today? I don't think you know how time works. This would mean it's only 4450. Yeah. You mean it's not? <laughs> uh. Thank you for the head pat. How are you doing this evening, Sar? Much better. Talk to a new friend for three hours, which was fun. Oh, very pog. I'm glad you made a new friend. That's always fun. As soon as this uploads to VT Social, we'll get going. Which should be any minute now. Maybe. Yeah, you should. No pressure, though. Visual novel fest? Nice. Alright. Onwards to the game itself, shall we? Where is... Necromunda Hired Gun? Here we go! And away we go. Away we go. Naturally, it's not showing up. One second. It's always one thing or another, isn't it? It's always one thing or another. Please load game. There we go. Awesome. Now we can actually get going. Still don't have my headset on, but hopefully we'll need it for a little bit. 
Gargantuan plants of industry, the greatest high world of all the Imperium. So Necromunda takes place in the 40k setting, but it's only one planet full of crime. Indeed. The cinematic is great. I wonder if they're using the actual game engine for to make these cinematics, or except with post-processing, or with a lot of uh, editing, or if it's a different engine entirely. Why does she have a plasma gun? Why did that? Why is that person have a plasma gun? I'm assuming it's black market hardware. <laughs> why is this person have a regular saw, regular sawn-off shotgun? Let's be honest here, most of these people would be shot just for existing if the Imperium took the time to visit Necromunda and actually, you know, try to take care of it. But the Golden Corpse has other plans, as it were. As it were. Alright. The headset is on. If an Inquisitor saw the state of the planet, it could possibly be designated where they're exterminatus. Probably not, though. I feel like if this really is the biggest uh, of the high worlds, they would probably have too much uh, political, cultural, religious, and industrial relevance for him to just outright nuke it. I'm fairly generous, though, so I could be wrong. I have to relearn how to play, too. Dash. When did I have a grapple? Did I always have a grappling hook? I guess I got that last game, didn't I? Let's see. Dash. Oh, what the f... Oh, you just have to hold it down. Cool, I literally ran around the pillar just now. <laughs> Even backwards. Yo, Titanfall, let's go. This game is a bit quiet, by the way. Oh, it is a bit quiet. Let me fix that. The game itself is just really fucking quiet. Let me off to boost the uh, OBS settings. Uh, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's not gonna let me fire off to any rounds to test the audio there, but let me know if it needs to be better. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Uh, got a heavy stubby here. Got some extra suits. I don't have any money right now. I don't have enough to buy anything decent anyway. Look that. You're going to need then again, I already have many an item. The problem is, how do I access my inventory again? This the is so jank. Since I can't actively shoot anything while I'm here, I could probably just press keybinds at will until something activates. I oh here it is. So it's tab and then Z. No. Or it's not, maybe. One man can start a landslide with the casting of a single devil. I wouldn't sell it if it didn't work. 
Show me what you got. Show me what you got. So this is the sell item. We just got raided by Sethy VT. Sethy, thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. What are you up to? Oh, Remnant 2. Necromunda has its own tabletop? That's cool. That's good to know. Is it any good, though? You were playing Remnant 2. How's that? I only ever played the first Remnant. Light under... S uh... Cell... 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 Keep that. Show me what you got. You're super triggered? Triggered by what, if I may ask? By Remnant? I don't think these are equipped, are they? They are not. I doubt they are. Archaeo tag damage three. These are so chanky. Uh, six HP loot bonuses. I really need HP, but on this other hand, loot bonus sounds pretty good. And I don't need all these guns. I just need some of them. Why do I have so many pistols anyway? Stub gun. Stub gun, stub gun. These are functionally the same, but different. One has better penetration, but the other one has better handling. Uh, Handling is not really a problem if you can aim, I guess. But I have this one equipped. And these are just better overall. Auto pistol and stub guns. I'll dump these. Striker. The equipped one has lucky charm effects because of the lucky charms I added. Brennan being yank with the evade. Oh. That sounds typical of uh, MORPGs, unfortunately. May RNGs are may RNGs be forever in your favor, as it were. <laughs> the next time you play, I mean, next time you play. Combat shotgun. I don't like shotgun. Oh, bolter. Auto gun. Highest legacy shotgun. Dog hammer. Deathbringer. Um. Should we buy the bolter, chat? I mean, I could. I think I can afford it. Remnant is a Souls-like night MMO. Uh, Remnant is this. Remnant Two is the second ver second version of Remnant to Dash, is right? The uh, third-person shooter, or am I thinking of a different game entirely that just happens to have a similar naming scheme? I tried playing the first game, and it was okay. I kind of got bored of it fairly quickly, though. But yeah, it was because. I had one of those friends that was trying to rush me through the content really quick, so I didn't get to actually enjoy any of it. Purchased. I wish I could just go to my I uh, my inventory at will, like you know, most modern games. Why do they have to feel the need to be unique? But then again, I guess that is the devs who made this game or just happen to be those kind of people, I guess. Third person shooter shows like, yeah, figured it was the same game more or less. Oh, that we were talking about, that we were discussing. So what? Yeah. Where have you been? Had a train to catch. The Iron Vipers. Yeah. You heard they've just been outlawed, right? What? Damn. No. Missed opportunity, huh? 
Well, want to know something else? What? Word is they're trying to get their hands on an old generatorum back out okay. towards Delta 7. Used to be Goliath territory, but the Iron Vipers have taken pretty much all of it. Except what do the Iron Vipers want? Oh, you'll have to find out. I might just do that. This is a friendly water. Usually I like listening to the cutscenes and such, but the writing in this game leaves much to be desired, unfortunately. Also, 4K does have place called Arbites, Judge Shred looking for those who carry shotguns. I think I've seen the Arbites, but I've only ever remembered them from... I only... The, my first uh, introduction to the Arbite, Adeptus Arbites, was from... Um, I forgot his name, but he's this guy who used to do a lot of Warhammer content. He used to do this, uh, um, oh wait, yeah, if the Emperor had a touch to speak to advice. I played them solo to enjoy it more and for the sons of accomplishment. Oh, that's cool. I miss TTS so much. Me too, brother. Me too. Hey, Vim boy. What is the geekiest word in the... Is the geekiest word in English vocabulary? Uh, anti disestablishmentarianism or whatever the fuck that word name is. Or whatever the fuck that is. Um, how do I change this again? Gear. Sports bra. Status items. Loot bonus. And I forgot you get two of these, so I'm kind of down some stuff. Great. Uh,. Switch out this one with the bolter. Put this one here, the stub gun there. Put the whatever the hell, the uh, auto pistol there. Oh, I can carry three auto assault rifle. Okay, or I could carry a shotgun and a and and a. Okay. What is the furthermore? Why is that the geekiest word in the English lexicon? You have piqued my interest. Another rust damn hijack. <laughs> they shouldn't be like that. They said it was an abandoned dome full of archaeo tech. They should have told us it was abandoned because of the plants will eat you, Elmore. Plants that'll eat you, because you said so? Oh really? What else are you gonna say? Sawn off, ooh! I love sawn off shotguns. Put that there. Let me just sell all my non-blue colored thing. It's not gonna let me sell it, is it? Damn it. Maybe I shouldn't do that unless I have something to replace it with first, huh? So I like the name Dog ha I can't purchase the Dog Hammer. That's just great. Pius Legacy has a cool sounding name too. Special. Heavy. Status item, fire resistance, radiation resistance. Uh, I can only afford one of these, chap. Because I sold the rest, because I'm dumb like that. Plus 2% critical hit chance actually is pretty good. We'll buy this one, actually. And we'll buy this one as well. Okay. This is These are for attaching to your guns, I believe. So you can get... Like, this causes radiation and causes electricity damage. I wonder if these actually make any difference, or if they're just there to be there. I need to sleep. This is annoying feeling. Have a nice stream. See you next time. See you next time, Sethi. Have a good night. Thanks for bringing your chat over. Hold, close your nostrils and say it. Then you'll know why. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, Vemboy. I'm gonna give you a head pat. And there's nothing you can do about. You noob. You noob. You, you memester. Only I am allowed to troll here. 
Uh, okay. Customize weapons. Customize with a lucky charm. Yeah. Oh, you can just buy these things? What the fuck? I want something that allows me to hit people from farther away with precision muzzle. I guess they all they don't seem to do much difference today. Reduces handling, increases accuracy. This one looks cool. Actually, I probably shouldn't put put money on those or put money, use money to put on these things until I get better weapons. Because I'm probably just gonna be tossing this anyway. So what's the point, right? Why is this glowing? They sure dumped a lot of effort just into the weapon customization. Jesus Christ. I mean, look at this shit. Replace this. Come on. Here we go. So why can't I replace this one, is my question. Oh, we can. We just took me a while. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah smaller bolters exist used by Sister Sabata. What about the Brother of Battle submission? You would know a thing or two about being sub about submission, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's fight. Come out to play, warriors, who I'm being shot at by. Wow, this is definitely a bolter. I can't hit Jack all with it. Yep, that's definitely a bolter. I'm fucking Spider-Man. Oh, glorious noise. Oh, there goes my shields. I don't think you're a very nice guy, guy. Who the fuck? I'm being nerdy. You're sorry? Yeah, that's fine. You're allowed to be nerdy. I won't have any any other way to be honest. You have killed a hundred enemies with a headshot. This game that's because compared to other games, other FPS games. This uh, this game for some reason when you actually, you know how in most games, when you shoot people in the head, it just does critical damage? In this game, if you shoot people in the head, it actually kills them, and if they don't have any armor in the head. Just straight up. Straight up. Kinda of might see a Metro in that regard. Always submit to the god armor. Only from watching me, I am. Please tell me I don't need to rebuy all my shit. I'm gonna be upset. I do not have to buy, rebuy all my shit, thank god. 
I was gonna be upset. Okay. Oh. Hold on. So let's warm up again. We're gonna go back to the gladiatorium and just fight random shit. As a reminder, chat, I am playing this on hardest difficulty. Hey, Dokuro, thank you so much for the raid for the party of four. How you doing? Can we get a shout out for Dokuro really quick, please? It's Doko Doko. You're great. Glad to hear it. I'm just playing some some uh, Necromunda, relearning how to play this game because it is certainly a game of all time. It is certainly the game of all time. Oh my god, that was a glorious shotgun kill just now. I just remembered you can power slide in this game. In fact, you're supposed to be power sliding in this game. Oh my god. I'm starting to remember Dirty Bomb. Just beat Pizza Tower? Great game. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. I have Pizza Tower, but I haven't gotten a chance to play it yet. But since I play games like this, or play uh, indie games on Mondays, I'll probably get to it eventually. And why, yes, I do consider Focus, Focus Home Interactive a indie dev, even though they're not really. They're just not as popular, I guess, as the other ones. A four-armed emperor? That sounds like heresy and a half. Is this really an auto pistol? What the fuck? It's like an advanced machine pistol or something. Which I guess is the point, right? Oh, what the f I love how quickly I reload too. I'm already dead, okay, <laughs> chat. I can't even beat the uh, basic training gladiatorium type thing. This ought to be fun. On the bright side, saves are fairly generous in this game. So I am fully expecting, I'm not even sure if we should bother taking count of how many times I die over the course of the gameplay. Because it's probably gonna be, yes, it's gonna be all, all the deaths. What do the Cadians have any have to do with this, my dude? Don't you know Acadia stands? Wild Snake is twenty-five creds, Amasek is four creds, and old Foys is three. Well, I mean, that's what the bottle says. I can't tell you what's in it. I could use go for some Amasek right about now. Run up a pretty big tab. Show me what you can do for me. Ayo? What can you do for me? So this is where you change clothes and shit. Currently I'm wearing the Spirian set, which makes me red colored. Spire Noble is the uh, decidedly darker red over variation. Changes the way the uh, weapons look slightly too, but not by much, honestly. Faith is my shield, Ayo. The shadow. That's the part. I want to stab this guy in the face. Just because of, I remember last time I tried talking to him, he took forever to get to the point. Let's see what this artificer does. Show me what you can do for me. Wait, is this for like upgrading weapons directly? You can do that. Oh. It's just for like adding the shit here. 
think we're good for now, though. Let's go ahead and continue the game chat. It's been I've been futzing around for long enough. I wonder how long this is. Show me. Show me. Show these nuts. Uh, here we go. Genitorum. Wanted, dead or alive, the Silver Town, or we can go. Wait, that's just the campaign stuff, I guess. Let's uh, do some. These are this is the bread and butter of the game. The part where you're supposed to be role playing as a bounty hunter. Save the witches. Free the captive psychic bounty hunters before they are sold, killed, or eaten. Alright. That sounds pretty good. I wonder what happens if I fail. Do I too get eaten? Do you cybernetic humans taste good? The answer to this question and more to be found out soon. So you can like actually spend your money to buy equi buy this equipment would you as well? Okay. Oh shit. There goes all my money. That sounds important. All right, let's go. Launch mission. Just doing the good old strut down memory lane. I like that we don't have to make sure our dog doesn't die. He's just immortal. He's just freaking immortal. Oh no, we're play. We're back on Colo on the train. Chat. This is going to be lovely. Is that a Imperial uh, jet fighter thing? Cool. It says to save them, but how do I get down there? Oh. Okay, so you're supposed to release them or some shit. Okay, that, that, okay. I guess that makes sense. Ooh, free shit. Give me the guns. Get, leave me alone, for fuck's sake. Oh man, I'm already dead. Or about to die, I should say. Epic shotgun, save me! I think so far the epic shotgun is actually saving me. Nope, I'm dead. Oh, nope, I am alive because of bullshit magic powers. I like the fact that they're actually actively fighting each other instead of me. This is a very convenient timing, I must say. I just now remembered that I can fucking fly, or jump really high, as it were. Well, what the f- This shotgun has great range, damn! <laughs> Alright, so how do I get out there again? Um... Okay, save, save, save. At least there's no fall damage. Only one stim left, better make it count. Almost fell to my death again.
How do I pick this up? How do I pick this up? How do I pick this up? Oh, that's my shield. Okay. Where'd you... Did you just fucking spawn right there? You did. Oh my god. I'm so glad I bought the bolter pistol. Just chewing through these heretics like nobody's business. Can't aim for shit, though. Alright. You're free. Of run or whatever the hell it is that witches do. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I am not gonna die. Go, my pretties! Oh, fuck. I think I'm dead dead, chat. Yeah, use midi skull. I'm dead dead. I like that it's just letting me restart the whole mission, though. This game would be such a pain in the ass if it wasn't that easy. Honestly speaking. All right, let's try this again. Once more into the breach, as it were. Oh, well, that was easy. Already found one of them. Oh my god, what is that? Well, whatever it is, it's gonna die. Once I... Um... Deal with this guy over here. <laughs> Go, my pretty! Beat the game for me, why don't you, huh? Holy shit, he totally did it. He just killed a mecha. Good dog. You're a good dog. Did I just shoot my own dog? Oh, you son of a whore. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Alright, now this game's just getting silly. This is just really silly now. You just sort of scroll through whatever gun that you have available. All six of them. Willy nilly. I think I'm out of ammunition for my bolter already. And that is not my dog. I can't be see shit, Captain. Let's try it again. Once more with healing. This game is so janky. <laughs> Jank but fun. You just have to not take it so seriously. Yeah, it harkens back to a different time. Back when women wore breast armor. That doesn't actually protect you. Back when... You just use every gun for every situation. Back when FPS games were only about being in first person and shooting. I mean, I guess there's still kind of that, but not really. I feel like this would be a great game for speedrunning.
Quick melee life, no guns. Uh, I forgot which one of these buttons does melee, to be honest. I'll figure it out in a bit, I'm sure. If I get a chance for, like, stealth killing. No, that apparently just used a medkit. That was definitely not a melee weapon. I only have two melee kit or medikits left now. Okay, let's try pressing E on someone. No, I'm pretty sure Alt F4 does not do that. Yep, it was E. Oh, they are straight up witches. Who'd have thought? Alt F4. You're helping? Yes, you are. I'm going to give you a head pad in spirit since I'm too busy trying to not die for the umpteenth time. I am a pro gamer, chat. Oh my fuck, I just took a load of shot of buckshot to the face. I enjoy being shot in the face, it seems. Let's go, I got touched by the streamer. You'll get more than touched. Anyway. Game, are you going to load? Unreal processes crash, Unreal 4. Close without sending. It's the best game of all time. <laughs> Alright. Let's load it back up. Check Disco and give life real reaction. Let's see what you got for me this time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are they ever going to fight? I feel like they're never going to actually fight. Yeah, yeah, I heard. There's going to be payback for that. You know it. They shouldn't be like that. They said it was an abandoned dome full of archaeotech. They should have told us. Oh dear, we must reckon we're killing their chiefs and lieutenants. Save the witches. Uh, at least it saved all my previous uh, settings. He's trying. This was posted by the fridge, by the way. I don't really understand his memes. He truly is from a different planet altogether.
like, is this supposed to be self dep or self deprecating humor? Because it just comes off as weird. Indeed, it does. Indeed, it does. Someone needs to gently tell him that this is not the wind that he thinks it is. Then again, he doesn't list, really listen to anyone, so that might be a mood point, right? The fuck is Necromunda? Necromunda is a uh, giant hive world in the Imperium. Which is full of a lot of nasties. Everything in this planet is also fuck huge. Like, this is a giant train that I'm riding on right now. See? Giant train. Mm hmm. I think it's funny. It is kind of funny. I'm just confused as to who is supposed to be the one that's like being owned you could have said that this you could have said that this was posted by the athlete as well and it would have made just as much sense I feel ow 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 shit I'm dying I'm dying I'm dying again oh my god no wonder I'm dying Oh, he's an angry motherfucker, isn't he? Oh, shit. Ha. Woo! Uh, is he dead? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, God. Oh, my God. I live again. Not for very long, though. I die again. I die again. We should just take bets on how long it takes me to perish. That's hell. Indeed, it is hell on Earth. <laughs> we currently have an ad playing, so I'm going to wait before I speak again, I suppose. I always think of the people who do not have subs yet. You know, until they do. Is that a plasma cannon? Was a plasma cannon. All people are subs. I saw them no to death and live forever. No more ads. Indeed. That was excessively over the top, but I enjoyed it. Oh my god. Go, doggy! Kill them all!
Warthog. Oh my god. Ayo. And the ads are now are ba are done. Holy shit. Are done and we are back and I am dead again. I was not able to escape in time that time. Thankfully, I have 3 revives. Which is actually the farthest we got in this mission so far, saving 3 full people. So, you know, progress, as it were. The fuck? That's collision? Are you invisible? Are you fucking kidding me right now? You are invisible? Oh my god. Hey, just explain. <laughs> My God, that was the longest I've survived this time. Survived this time, and I still got exploded. Let's try it again. We're getting closer. We might actually be able to beat this side mission eventually. Eventually is a really long time, though. I gotta say. By the way, party shitter, welcome to the stream. So I didn't greet you properly earlier. <laughs> oh. Seriously, bro? My god, they shot my dog. My dog is on his way to kick ass and take names, it seems. Ah! What the f- Oh my god. That's just- Oh my god. Just came out of nowhere, why won't you? Why don't you? That is illegal. That was so stupid. It just came out of... Really? Alright, people with jetpacks are overpowered. Oh my god. Wait, AI is illegal. Okay, fuck this planet. They are, I agree. <laughs> We really need an exterminatus down here. This game is so jank. But still, that was... His help will be precious. I'm just glad that the Mastiff is functionally invincible. He can't even be hurt. He can just only be temporarily inconvenienced.
Also, do I start off with a lot for with next to no ammunition or what? Jesus. 33 rounds of bolter ammo. I mean, yeah, I know it does a lot of damage. That's a lot for the damage, but still. How can the Emperor protect me if I don't have enough bullets, chat? That's what I want to know. Who goes there? Aislinn, thank you very much for the resub. How are you doing today? Welcome, 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 welcome. I lost track of how many times I've died so far. Let's try not and piss off the big ogre looking dude. I think he saw me. He saw... Oh god, he saw me. Did that grenade just come go back in my direction? It did. Oh, hi there, General Kenobi. Nope. All right, he's dead. Oh, oh, you motherfucker. This asshole with the fucking plasma pistol thing. Damn it. A-OK, -okay, thanks, myself. I'm doing great, aside from having died at least 30 times since starting stream an hour ago. I'm almost wondering if this is a story game that I'm, I must play on normal mode, because playing it on hard mode is for uh, definitely better coded AI than me. That's for damn sure. Collab with Shrek, I love to see it. Yep, unfortunately Shrek is now dead until his next respawn. It was a very short collab, as you as it were. He did not respect my boundaries, so I disrespected his life. God damn, the recoil on this thing is ridiculous. No, I think not. Go, doggy! Yes, kill them. Kill them all. The NPCs are not smart enough to attack the dog. So just eat all of their f that was fucking graphic. <laughs> That's so graphic, though. Even though we only saw it through the x-ray vision. Oh my god. Alright, we managed to survive this long. Somehow. Lucky charms. Silly scavies, tricks are for kids. You know, I thought they would just respawn endlessly, but maybe not. Oh man. Oh, shit. Really? By the way, emote feedback talk after stream. No problem. Thanks for the reminder. I really need health. I really need health. Oh, there's a big boy over there. No problem. Who the fucking... Shit, really? Oh my god. Here, I'm, I'm not gonna even bother shooting you. I'm just gonna stab you. Okay, reload all the guns. Definitely reload this one. Oh, hello. 
I'm out of ammunition. Ow! Oh shit. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. And so are you. <laughs> uh. Cool. She's gone too. Who else do I have? I need to save two more and the mission's over, chat. We could finally progress the game. Oh, it's you, motherfucker. It's this... Cheap ass motherfucker. Damn it. <sighs> Once more, then. Hmm. That was obscene. Let's try it again. Maybe I'm not supposed to be fighting all of them. And that's my main issue. Let's try focusing on Jess doing the objective this time. Instead of murdering everyone that we see. Oh. That didn't go so well. God damn it. Don't look now, but there's some strange on-screen artifacts appearing in front of us. Like, whatever the hell was going on with her chest just now. Did they see me? <laughs> oh my god, that was easy. Just explodes, shooting them in the back. Boom, headshot. <laughs> uh, one shot, one kill. You love to see it. Were you invisible? Where'd I come from? Must have been. goes there. Thank you very much for the follow, Philip. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the Lost Time Show. You're doing good? Glad to hear it. I am not doing so good. I am trying to actually beat this side mission, which is, as you can imagine, uh, taking a while. 
But I feel, I want to think that I'm getting better with each attempt. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Here's his fuck fair. Here's the chest I found earlier, actually. I love shotguns in this game. Not fond of them in others, to be honest. But they're very nice and meaty in this one. Ah, shit, really? Alright, here we go. One shot, one kill. This is a rock and a rock we place. Fuck you and your golden energy shield thing. Jesus. Okay, go up here, okay, cool, we managed to get out of there, now how do we get over there, call the elevator I guess, oh, lovely, ow, it's the grenader too, I was wondering when that lady was going to come, was going to show up, You could just clip through the ground too, I suppose. Why is it always you? It's always you. Fucking grenade chick. Clipping through the elevators. This game is terrible, sometimes. These gangbangers are tough. Yeah, there's some heresy at work here. Being able to no-clip through the stage environment like that. The heresy is real, chat. Alright, let's try it again. Oh my god, not again. I'm dead. Again. laugh if I end up winning this one just by literally avoiding everyone and going straight for the objectives which is probably what you're supposed to do and I'm just too, too stubborn to do so yeah you know what that might have been the intention actually because the game is quite obviously throwing encounters for you that are way too strong for you I mean that one chick had a golden shield I don't know what the rear tier of that shield is, but it's definitely higher than mine, whatever it was.
All right, last one. Of course, they would all pop up, spawn right there at the entrance to the last fucking stairway. My god. Artificial difficulties, right? Because what I was trying to do was I was trying to kill them all before proceeding, right? But I think what's going on is I think the more of them I kill, the strong, stronger ones keep getting spawned in. So, I was actually fighting a losing battle from the beginning. I can't... I, I shouldn't be trying to kill all of them. I should just be trying to complete the objective as quickly as possible before I get overwhelmed. Don't care. Get the fuck out of my way. How are you not dead? What the shit? Oh my god. Fucking really? Oh my god. I am going to beat this fucking mission yet, I swear. Out bullshit the bullshit. That's what I'm trying to do, but I think the more of them that I kill, the stronger they get the get overall. So I'm trying to kill them as I'm trying to like go around them because this game gives you so many awesome movement options, right? So I think you're supposed to outmaneuver the hell out of them. Like this. Fuck fighting them, I'm just gonna run, except I don't have any health left, so that's awesome. <laughs> oh, gotta say though, that's very satisfying. Fuck me. Really? Did you just literally just spawn there or did they? I wonder if they spawned there or if they were just coming from all over this train to kill me. I'm going the wrong direction even. I'm supposed to be going that way. But I kind of don't have any health right now. Oh my god. Oh, and of course there's a mecha there too. Oh, the mecha is after me. That's not good. Could really use a medkit. I'm trapped between a hard place and a hard place. And I fall into my death. And I just revived, thankfully.
All right. Um, fucking lights in the. Oh my god. Go, doggy! Don't get stuck on the geometry, please. Don't don't get fucking stuck on the. God damn it. Oh my god. Yes, the dog resp the dog has respawned. Something tells me that choosing this game was a mistake. <laughs> Or this difficulty, yeah, I'm starting to wonder if this game was not meant to be played on hard mode. I'll try one last time to beat this mission, and if I can't, then I'll go to normal mode so we can actually progress. I'm just stubborn like that, unfortunately. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Oh no, a dead end. Not anymore, it's not. That is truly satisfying. Oh, hi there. Doggo, just fucking do your job, I swear to god. <sighs> yeah, you're welcome. Now, get the fuck out. Please, just use your teleport magic to get out of here. That fucking jetpack piece of shit. I'm alive for now but like no health If I fucking die there, I was gonna be so upset. One left. He's up there. Shields up. Game over. And the game just ends. And I didn't get anything because I didn't kill anyone that's or I didn't kill as many people at a time.
I just wanted to get the fuck out. I didn't really earn that much, did I? Medical admittance fees, class S. And I lost money because of taxes. Yes, even in the 40th millennium, you cannot escape taxes. Finish your first secondary mission. Yeah, no kidding. It only took about an hour and a half. New weapons unlocked. Land out lowly. I could ask Yolanda, but maybe if I have to pick a mission where it's just fighting, you won't need to. I won't need to go up against so much bullshit. Because I still need to collect money, unfortunately. Whoever House Delac is. They don't really give you that much money, do they? I really need more armor and HP. There's Chaos Cults and Xenos down there. Then I suppose we'll need to kill all of them, won't we? Let's see how far, how we fare this time. Kill them all. Easier said than done, unfortunately. Ooh, well, this is a interesting map. How am I supposed to get up there? Did I just glitch through the map? This game is fucking raw, as Gordon is want to say. Oh my god.
Just, it's fucking raw. That GIF. Play right there. Maybe I should just play, I should just play Dark Tide. <laughs> because this is pretty bad. I wonder if it saved the fact that I completed the last mission though with the witches. I guess it's gonna tell me, won't it? It would appear that it did not save my last mission with the witches. Or did it? It says here I have 12 grand monies. So maybe it did. I don't want to do that again though. We just went through hell doing it the first time. Of course, now there's two of these. Wow, I can save the witches at, and be paid by the gene stealers, no less. Let's try this one where we actually get to fight someone. Back on this hell world. The environments are great though. Ooh, purple. Rarity stuff. Hopefully that's is a good thing. So I have to actually find them, like, hiding around here somewhere, it seems like. Where, oh where, can my little vermin be? Gotta say, though, I'm appreciating how much more chill this was in the previous couple missions. Relatively speaking, of course. Is it just Miro? Is this a small map? I can't imagine paying 60 bucks for this, I gotta say. It's so raw. Thanks for the head pads. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by.
All right, I've been walking around in circles for a little bit here. It's a lot of dead people, but where is my target? For real, though. Okay. Okay, I understand now. It just took a while to get out of there. What the fuck is that? I'm so glad I got this game on sale because I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. It's so... I thought this game would, would just had some rough edges and it would be jank but in a fun way. But it's more like jank in a frustrating way. It really does feel like Eve, I, Divine, Cybermancy except with Warhammer skin. Except I was definitely better... It's better just as the game. I'd say. It was not as over the top confusing, I suppose. And I feel bad too because I's whole thing was basically being um a non trademarked and non like uh not trademark infringing Warhammer game by fans of the uh, fans of the franchise, but this is actually kind of unplayable. I'm also playing it in hard mode, so maybe it's just not balanced for hard mode. Fine, you know what? Old school, my ass. We'll play it on hard mode. Try it again. I'll never get over that. I'll never. That'll never get old.
No, you don't. No, you don't. Uh, here's another gold boy. Oh my god, I have to kill six of these? At least it seems doable now. Playing as we are on hard mode. Problem is, where are they hiding? Bro, really? You just gonna sit there and run? Disappointing. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Doggo is best. Now, where's the other leader? Is he gonna pop out around here? It's kinda hard to find anything in this game. Without the use of a map, anyway. Look at all these people just spawning in behind me, too. That's just lovely. Nice of the game to show me an x ray of them, though. Normal mood, I guess. Might as well, right? Oh man, you can really feel the difficulty difference. There's no way I should still be alive up to now. Just doing this. Like, there's just no way. I should not have survived that. At the same time, it did seem kind of hectic still. Feels like I have more bullet sponginess. Overall.
took that much just to kill me. Alright. Ow. Oh my god. I have decided we are not going to continue playing this game, chat. It's just... It's not a good game. Even the difficulty slider, all it really does is reduce the damage you take. But the sponginess of the enemies is still pretty nasty, and in the game that's supposed to be full of movement mechanics up the asshole, it's kind of back asswards to where the optimal way to actually beat that stage was to just play hide and seek the whole time, and then just hold down the fire button until you finally kill something, because everyone is a fucking bullet sponge. And having to do that six times? Come on. Where's the... That's not... This is not games. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was not clearly not enjoying myself there. <sighs> Let's see what, what, how Dark Tide's going, doing, I guess. Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide apparently has six viewers right now. Does no one stream this game anymore? Let's find out. One thousand four hundred and sixty nine players right now. That's not a good thing. Yeah, oh well. I always had a great time with Dark Tide. I just felt like it was kind of resource heavy. The community is extremely toxic and the uh, cosmetic systems were kind of a mess. These are all things, as you, if you couldn't tell, that I don't really care about and can very easily ignore. So they were effectively non-issues for me. Server maintenance scheduled for August 8th? That's not good. PC load showing at 100%? What the fuck? Ow. It's wild.
Why is this no longer in window mode? Here we go. Does it show up yet? I hope. It's always something, isn't it? There we go. Cool. There we go. Load's still sitting at around half. Damn. Welcome back. And of course, the game wants me to restart it. Figures. Could have done that while we were on ad break. Would have been useful. Apparently, no one is really streaming this game anymore, and I am curious about that. We'll see how bad it is now. Or good it is. Oh man, it is chugging. It is chugging, all right. But not impossibly. So. Still have my cool bag. Looks like I can unlock these at some point. And emotes too? Well, that's cool. I guess. I don't even know how to access the emotes yet. I still have some premium currency in this game too that I never used. As long as you got the Aquilas. Isn't this the costume that's been around for a while too? Oh, this guy looks cool. 
Too bad this is only Imperial Guardsmen. Reminds me of a uh, Kriegsman Death Corp or Krieg Death Corpsman, which is honestly probably what they're based off on. Please tell me the game didn't just crash. Okay, it did not. The fuck is this? Oh, Psyker. These things used to have a lot of flavor text along with them too, and I don't see any. Come again. Ahoy, Unless it's only for the expensive one. No, they definitely used to have flavor text here for each of the characters, which was kind of cool. It's kind of sad. I guess they're too busy trying to unfuck the game to bother with something like that, though. Oh, here we go. Nothing good, as far as I could tell. Cosmetics. Oh, they actually have some decent cosmetics now. All things considered. Cost an obscene amount of money, though. I mean, come on. 970,000? 1 million? Who's playing this game that long? I mean, really. I wonder why they even bother putting a rarity on these things. If you have to buy them. It's just different colorations anyway. Booba. My god. The end stage uh, level armors and stuff for veterans are basically just Kaskrin or Kaskrin uniform.
I wish this shit wasn't class locked. Honestly. My god, that's so beautiful. And that's for psychers. I'm surprised they don't have a bonehead skin here for the Ugrins. Enough fooling around. Let's see if we can get a game in and see what the game is like. Looks like there's a lot more actually. We'll get ourselves a few missions and we'll get going. One mission with no player deaths. 750 plus steel. Eight grimoires of scriptures or eight missions or kill. Jesus. Prove me wrong. Return in. This is going to be a, certainly the game of all time, chap. This will certainly be a game of all time. Okay, it's finally departing. I was starting to fall asleep there. <laughs> Ought to be fun. The faithful need neither riches nor comfort. Cleanliness, however. The cartel laid down the law here for decades. The Emperor's life barely split into the torrent. In faith, this place is sorely benighted. Humanity should not be reduced to scavenging birds of water, even if they are blood. Cipher items required. Likely location the bazaar.
Yeah, this is more like it. Fast, actually works. Really punchy gameplay. Shame it's starting to die out a bit, but we will enjoy it while it lasts. Oh my god. How do I activate my chainsaw? I need to look up what they changed the keybind to. I have no idea which one of these it is. Equip deployable, aspects, interact, weapon special actions. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, there we go. Took a while. Ammo. To figure out which one of these buttons did that. That's how long it's been since I've last played. Steel. I'm still alive somehow. For a time being. I noticed that we haven't even stopped to heal up in a bit. No one has, it seems like. I 
ammunition. Thank you. the master of mankind. Stand your ground. I hear the blessed host singing. Don't complain so fast. I hope you want to fight. Everybody gets old. Act. Yes, I can well imagine why you say that. Almost out of ammunition myself. Oh man. It is. Oh no. Oh, this could be bad. Thank you. Did I ask you for it? I said get the house to the
content acquired. Crypt key access granted. Proceed to elevator. The elevator appears intact. Try to survive until it arrives. I'm reloading! Oh shit! Oh my god, I'm being beaten to death, literally. That was a mess, but we ended up okay in the end. That's nice, he wanted me to heal up first before he did. Oh shit! I got exploded off the- somehow onto the other side of the area, being rescued again by this Ogren who is a credit to team.
Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Well, at least I just got sent to the bottom floor this time. Stick to the group. Systems My God. We got free stuff. Not bad. God, my hands hurt just from that. That wasn't so bad. All things considered. 
I didn't find any grimoires, but who cares? Really? Free stuff get. Mmm, shotgun. I do wonder if there's any decent weaponry in the weapon store this time. You suck a sight. I will do as you wish. Oh, these are just cosmetics. Only two colors, though. That's kind of dumb. Concluding service protocols. I exist to serve. Which one is actually like? Who actually sells the guns and such? Did they change that too? There they are. I exist to serve. They use the same guy for the same, for both things. That's why it's confusing. What's Prince Armory? A profane weapon of your choosing. So all these uh, garbage ones, basically. Or you can get one of these over here. Only blues though, no purples. Nothing decent, I suppose. Can they be upgraded though? before you. Others will do so after your passing. Oh my god. Turn into a transcendent. I like how it actually increases the combat rate. Wait, does it increase the damage rating? It does not. It just gives you a new perk. How to earn blessings. I guess I'm supposed to purge the weapons I have that I have not used in a while. Let's try this one. I trust you are pleased, Violet. Indeed I am. 
Indeed I am. I don't think I understand how votive offering works. I thought it would just like give you something you can use, you can attach to any of your weapons at will. Uh, it's clearly not the case. Like, wouldn't it be nice if I could just attach all these things to my melee weapons of choice? I guess that would be too difficult though. Or too easy though. Where'd I get this from? So close. Actually, I think I am really already at level 30, aren't I? Or I will soon be. That's max level already.
two charges is insane. Okay, at least try. Let's at least reach level 30. See what happens then. Assistance is available. I want to know what I can do about the whole. Allow me to maximize the combat potential of your armaments. Because it gave me a votive offering, right? So how do I apply that to my? I have war gear now. Okay. So that's how it is. So it gets put into your inventory here, but you can't select it except to re-bless with a... I see now. Time to fall asleep. Let's get to level 30 and call it a night. How may this humble unit assist you? I don't know. How can you? Try using a shotgun for once. Or change of pace. I will not be leaving my eviscerator behind though.
That was quick. The heretics scum are storing samples of their latest contagion in the old excise bubbles. Can't have that, can we? You'll get access cipher IDs from the nearby survey economy. After that, getting into the vault should be child's play. Send me the samples via the old pneumatic conveyor. Then, and not before, you can come up. I almost fell asleep again in the game. Mission parameters are simple. Get a cipher ident from the survey economy, crack security, and get into the vault. Get moving! Everyone ready? Stay close. Closer. You know, for a shotgun, these things have decent range, don't they? in this maze. Shotguns are great in this game. What am I saying? What am I thinking? That's kind of ridiculous just now.
Sorry about the Dorisu, the ad's finally over. How are you doing tonight? We were, we were trying to help someone here get an achievement for playing this whole mission without getting, taking any damage. And unfortunately they got themselves stuck between a wolf and a hard place at the upper levels. And I couldn't help them by shooting the wolf because I only have a shotgun right now and I can't hit anything for shit with it. I generally proceed directly to terrify. Considering that we've been kind of not paying attention this whole game, where the fact that we're still alive is actually fairly good. But we are only playing it on difficulty two, so maybe it's not that bad. I won't last much uh, oh, I say it, I am dying already. It's good, just relaxing and vibing. Oh, glad to hear it. I'm starting to fall asleep, but I wanted to try and at least reach level 30 by tonight. So, that decided to play another mission, even though these missions take like, what, half an hour to complete? You never know who's listening. I don't usually stay up this late, but, eh. I was trying to play Necromunda earlier, and that was kind of a bust, so I figured I might as well play this instead. An actually half-decent Warhammer game. This magic case station is ready to assist. Yeah, I was gonna say, you actually are streaming at a time I can stop on in. <laughs> yeah, I usually start streaming uh, four hours before now, but I had to, I'm had i starting to have to move it a little bit later in the evening because my some changes I made to my real world schedule have made it impossible to stream at my old hours, at least without rushing and shit. So you'll probably see me a lot more often nowadays this e these evenings. I never get tired. Oh my god, yes. I never get tired of chopping things in half with a fucking chainsaw. Oh, that's not spooky at all. An acceptable quality. This game is also pretty jank, but at least it's playable jank. Still very unoptimized though. You know what? You say shotgun's not too bad in this game. I typically avoid shotguns in most FPS games because they're really jank or they're extremely short range, but this one is decent. We have some time, somehow we succeed in resolving the issue. I'm getting Doom mixed with Wolfenstein and also King Floor. Yeah, it's fairly accurate. It is a horde shooter, like Killing Floor. The music is always banging, like in Doom, and also this game is extremely glory, gory. 
And the aesthetic is kind of Wolfenstein-ish. It is Warhammer after all. They have a very pseudo diesel punk slash futuristic um, obnoxious obnoxiousness. The game I used to play back when I had a gaming group was Wolfenstein Enemy Territory. Well, not Wolfenstein, but Dirty Bomb, which is based heavily on Wolfenstein Enemy Territory. So I could see where those inspirations where those inspirations may have came from. Although I gotta say, the one thing I did so I always disliked about Killing Floor was how dark it was, even though I know that's part of the aesthetic. So it's very welcome to see that in this game you can actually see what you're fighting. Well, some of the time. Sometimes it's also really dark. I actually never played this mission before. I wonder if it's a new one. It kind of looks like a giant Christmas tree. I mean, you're looking here while you're working some things, so feel free. Thanks again for the lurk. I'm gonna need something like that. Barrel's about to explode. It's no longer about to explode, that's for damn sure. <laughs> I can't believe we're still not at the end of this. Wild. <laughs> there it never gets old. Ammo! Huh? Ammo! Yeah, man, we just wall bangs that guy. Very pog indeed. Out of med kits. Keep moving. You're looking for hangar Delta 175. Sighted in. Taking Oh shit, exploded. I 
can't believe I shotgunned the big boy to death. Pog. We've been traveling for a bit, haven't we? Surprised we haven't made it yet. This is a really long mission. Oh, that's just... Huh? Oh my god, we are being surrounded on all ends. You're almost to the excise bolt. Just a little further. Just a little bit further, he says. It's been a while, my dude. I traverse purification by fire. Oh my god. I almost fell. That would have sucked just now. Oh my god. Demon host. I must avoid. 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 No. No. Do not get captured. God damn it. Thank you. Holy shit, this mission is still not over up to now. Does that matter? Show me what to hit. I'll hit them. Uh Ha, success will soon be ours. One can only hope. One can only hope. Oh my god.
Oh boy. Contagion samples opening. Cool. We're still not at level 30. Fine, we'll play one more mission. I'm having my second wound right now. Those people were pretty chill. I know people should talk the community in this game all the time, but I don't know, they were fairly nice. It looks like the stigma surrounding buying the uh, premium costumes is no longer present either, because there are more and more people I'm running into that have actual cosmetics. I've always been pretty neutral about the cosmetic system in this game because I know it can be scummy just because it's like you already spent 70 bucks for this thing. Why should we have to spend more just to look cool? But I mean, it's whatever. That's just how the industry is now. I myself actually do have some premium currency left to buy a full costume set. I just never bothered because... I wanted to wait for more to re-release in case some cuter stuff came out. And it's been months and, well, uh, <laughs> yeah. Better stuff has not materialized. Nothing but the best. I gotta say, though, I'm glad this game has at least lasted a little bit longer than people were expecting. People were expecting it to die sooner by now. So, at that, we got that at least, right? It's one in the morning. All right, fine. We'll play. We'll keep. We'll play until we're level thirty. I'm not sure if I really care for this. Uh, the way the Ziad looks. The uh, this. Well, I mean, this uh, coat and shit looks badass. I gotta say. But I don't have a warhammer yet. I don't really use the infantry auto gun. Then what the fuck is that? The pants are okay too, I guess. Purchase all of our guns, uh, all of our equipment at once. The outcast warning call looks okay, I suppose. Or this uh, hoodie. Oh, you'll be fine. I mean, what can go wrong? Oh, you'll be fine. What could go wrong? Gee, I don't know. Why don't you tell me, heretic? What could go wrong? In the grim darkness of the 40k of uh, 40k. I got so much money now, actually. Sometimes I do wonder if I should purchase some of these investments. This one costs one million, though I only have a hundred thousand or so. Okay, it looks fucking dumb, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure if I enjoy that. Because I thought it was like a helmet. But you could see her hair is peeking out through the thing, and it's just like... Why? 
why would anyone want to dress up like that? I mean, you kind of look like a Mad Max character. Which I guess is not the worst thing. But otherwise, they look more like a steampunk hobo than anything else. But what if we don't use the mask, not use the mask at all? Or use, better yet, use my actual, you know, helmet. The ones with the goggles look the least dumb, personally. I wouldn't mind just wearing this coat and everything else. Actually, this uh, cheaper vestments here looks it's the same, except it's blue colored. This one kind of resembles the black one I already got, which was a premium currency thing, right? And the legs, I guess, or whatever. Yeah, there's just such thing. There's such thing as too much. I guess I'll send this guy a friend request, since he seemed fairly chill. I'm assuming that's sending a friend request in Steam as opposed to uh, just Arctide. At least I hope that's the case. Take your time. If you think you got that long. How much are Aquilas in this game? Yeah, I know. 7,000 Aquilas for 30 bucks, 4,500 for 20, 2,400 for 1149, 2,100 for 10 bucks. So oh, wow, just underneath how much you, just underneath the amount needed to actually buy new clothes. Well, actually, you know, you could buy it for 1149. So basically, one of these costumes is 11 dollars and 49 cents. I wonder if they put that in there because of all the people bitching about it or what. I'm still kind of annoyed that these costumes are class locked. I mean, the Ogren one makes sense, but I would really, really like to be able to use the veteran set on my priest. Because they're functionally indistinguishable in some ways. Got the smokes there attached to the helmet. I love it. Like, why did they... If this is the case, then... I mean, if they wanted to class lock these things, why is it that when they gave us the premium pre-order outfit shit, these fit onto every character except for Ogryn? And Psyker, I guess. I mean, I suppose the upper body is unique. I mean, mine is clearly vestments, right? <laughs> Armored vestments, I should say. I think it would be nice to try and replicate this costume in real life, actually, as a cosplay. That'd be kind of cool. I doubt it would be that difficult, actually. 
I wonder where this first Mancunio campaign thing came from. If it's... maybe it's like... for getting this game early or something? I don't know. Redeemed. That's cute. Dedicated mendicant's vestments are red colored. Makes me stand out a little bit more than usual. Catachan or Grinwald patterned. Tactical backpacks, tactical knapsacks. These are certainly the most rugged looking future backpacks ever, right? Normally I like the color red. I wonder if Helm of Purity is supposed to be derogatory. But it's really just a recolor of the Helm of Devoted. Bearing a seal of the intolerance. Oh, it's just a recolor. What the hell? Nah. I'll keep me all black. Like my soul. Oh, aren't you an interesting one? God, I want this helmet though. The chain neck guard was added by previous owner. May it serve you better. That's so true to real life, it's sad. During the Iraq campaign, what they used to do was to send these kits to the soldiers so that they can bolt on extra additional armor plates into their Humvees to give it better protection against gunfire and landmines and such. As opposed to just sending them all new uh, vehicles. Kind of reminds me of that, to be honest. See, I would love to wear this thing. It's honestly kind of cool in my opinion. But, um, this is veteran only. So. Rip. This one's kind of dumb. <sighs> Still want this helmet, damn it. I mean, how often do you get to play as a Kriegs as a, Kriegs, as a uh, Kriegsman? Huh? Oh, hey! There are other costumes here available. That's cool. That's cool. You get this uh, arm trinket. Bionic eye. You buy the Armageddon helmet separately. An orc's chance Armageddon. A movie and proverb referring to someone whose fortunes have turned sour. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I could dress up as a commissar. I could role play as Caiaphas Kane. Uh, give myself a little sippy sip. One second, chat. Mm -hmm. 
So, if I want to fulfill my Caiaphas Cain fantasies, I need to restart this game as a veteran. You know what? I might just be crazy enough to do that. Assuming this game is still around in the next several months. I'm so tempted right now. This is actually a pretty cool outfit too. For a prospective veteran. God, I just love the aesthetic of the veteran. But the reason I chose the Battle of the Priest first instead was because... Tech Priest. Since, you know, the game is not going to actually let me play a uh, Tech Priest. I can at least pretend, pretend to be one. Is this guy basically a Koskrin? He's a Karakin, I guess. Harsh, an HEV, HEV suit. Wow. Such coloration. And a power sword. Shit, man. I like this fly camera too. Cadian fly camera, no less. This is a trinket. Looks like there's only three available. Look here. Let's check out what's available for Zealot. So, Archmissionarius. Bleh. Confessor Resplendent Arlena Durer. I don't like the overtopness of the helmets and such. This is basically just not knight's armor. What the hell? That's kind of cool. And pants. Can't I wear a skirt? Kidding. Gloriana Cal, which is basically uh, my brains attached to so to my headphones and my ear, or my eyes. These are just straight up goggles. The goggles, they do nothing. Trinket, more like a tail, aka a plug. Are you projecting, young boy? <laughs> uh, additional eye protection is worn with a stinging sand that's blowing at you as corrosive. A rebreather. Ooh, that's a cute auto pistol. Combat. It's Robocop. It's Robocop. <laughs> you're you're basically Robocop. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> this is actually they actually made a costume I think is cool. <laughs> this is fucking dumb though. That's actually cool though. I wonder if it's supposed to be a Robocop reference, if that's intentional. I don't like this cage thing either. Stupid trinket. I guess like I guess everyone has three variations. I wonder if that's because that's how many costumes they've managed to produce so far since the game came out. Dumb pants. See, this Psyker costume is pretty cool. Look at those eyes. <laughs> what the fuck is this? That's an insane headdress. He's like a cyberpope or something. 
Look, leather pants. That's all these are, leather pants. Trauma scourge. Got another... These stupid things. Well, it's extremely unlikely, I think, that they're going to produce any more clothes anytime soon, so I don't feel so bad about buying some of these things. But God. I want this freaking... I want to wear this on my tech on my on my priest. I'm tempted to just buy this commerce's hat and re-roll the game as a veteran. That's kind of pointless without the rest of the clothes, isn't it? See what the uh, Ogrins got down here. Boring. Hey, it's a Terminator. Borgus Six Grok. This is a Star Trek reference, isn't it? This has got to be a Star Trek reference. I mean, come on, Borgus Six Groks. Got a nice shimog here. Goggles. Another shimog. That's so cool. This is actually kind of. This is actually really cool. <laughs> he just. He just oozes coolness. This is dumb. That's dumb. That's also dumb. That's kind of cool. So if I buy this individually, this costs 1,400. So I could leave me about 1,100 of these coin things. Don't need any of these dumb gun skins. The pants or whatever. I hate that the pants cost, pants cost extra. The pants, so if you just buy the torso and the pants, it is, I can't do math. Uh, I can't do math. 2,300? Dumb, I only have 2,500 of these Ecola things. If I bought this, I would have 400 left of uh, Aquilas that I can use on something. I'm tempted to use it on this auto pistol, but frankly speaking, I don't like auto pistols that much. So it would not find much use for me. And even then, the only reason why I want to buy this whole thing is because it looks like fucking Robuck out. This is stupid too. I also see how they price it on purpose to make to dissuade you from trying to buy them individually. I like that it's cheaper than everything else though. I don't know why it's cheaper than everything else. I mean this doesn't I guess for aside from the plate armor. The plate armor is kinda cool. You look like a goddamn knight. It's just this thing is kind of dumb. I can't get over how this looks. 
I, I just can't. I, I'm feeling myself weakening. I, I feel I'm, I'm feeling like spending money. <laughs> I guess I could always replace the head parts with the costume or something that doesn't look as dumb like these. Well, I cost extra actually. After I purchase one, of, if I purchase this, I would have enough left to buy this. A lifetime in front lines preaching the Emperor's truth and burning heretics has led to Anoral to Inquisitor Grendel's service. Anoral is a firm believer in the power of blind faith, hence the lack of eye holes in their helmet, but this does not make them any less effective. Guided as they claim by the Emperor's hand, Anoral has been responsible for many scouring of cult uprisings, putting to flame any hint of rebellion or heresy that they came across. Now in Tershim, Anoral has truly found where they belong. I like how they're using neutral pronouns to, to describe this person. Where they belong, with a seemingly endless horde of traitors and heretics to kill, Anoral has even allowed themselves to feel a modicum of contentment for the first time in the, since their childhood. After all, this is truly the Emperor's work that they do this day. Indeed. Indeed it is. Indeed it is so. I'm glad I finally found the flavor text. I don't like this person. He swallows all these souls every day. The Emperor is a bottom. <laughs> is that some heresy that you're posting there, Femboy? I won't report you to the Inquisition if you don't. I guess he's been well named Dead End, huh? A lowly infantryman who is moonlighting as a pilot. <sighs> With his nifty flight jacket he happened to acquire. Fictional days as a Thunderbolt pilot. I like this guy. I once again wish that I could wear his armor as without having to switch to the veteran class. Because I don't feel like re playing this game to level back to level 30 as a veteran just to get it. There is no heresy in truth. There is no mistake in the square character just to Aha, that's why he is a Kaskrin, and not only is he a Kaskrin, he is a Cadian Kaskrin. <laughs> Basically, they're like the best of the best as far as the Imperial Guard's concerned. Rumors abound that he chance pounded the armor and decided to adopt the background, reasoning that the similarity of his last name would add credence to his claims as long as he fights like a Kas Kasserkin. What does it really matter? I mean... 
I believe that he is what he claims to be. Fake it till you make it, right? That's the way I see it, anyway. Is there, like, body armor here in the chest cavity, though? This is, like, the... If there's no armor here, if it's only here in the top part, this would be, like, the male equivalent of booby armor. My surname is BDTU. What's that stand for? Bottom destroyer, the Uinator. Io, you want to destroy my bottom? So what else is new? If this game goes on sale, do you want to? Do you want me to get you a copy and we, so we can play together? It's clear that this game is not going to die anytime soon, in spite of how badly the uh, fucked up the development of it. Io, what is that uh, emote? Oh, blush emote. <laughs> How much is this game nowadays anyway? It's not like 60 bucks or anything, right? Because it's definitely not worth 60 bucks. Well, okay, it it runs, it just works. It does everything that's expected of it, I suppose. Uh, where is the store page? Fuck. I forgot how to get to the store page. It's too much? It probably is. But let me check just to make sure. Uh, it doesn't. Where's the price? God damn it! How much? Oh, it's forty dollars now. Eh, wait. It probably I would pay twenty bucks for this as it is right now. Forty is kind of cutting it. Close. If you're not playing Baldur's Gate three, you're losing. That's true. But I don't really have time to afford on a CRPG right now. Because, that, I mean, I love CRPGs. They're probably amongst my favorite genres of game. They're just extremely time consuming. $40, that's about 280 in my Monopoly monies. Wait, really? I didn't think the exchange rate was that bad. It's not, just trying to make the Americans feel better. Aww. Snug. Snug. I do like that they took the time to write up decent amounts of flavor text and lore for all of these characters. <laughs> six grog, six grog. Borgus, six grog. Others are impressed that Borgus can even count that high. It is a stylish looking coat, I must say. 
I still think Lord Eddie One Eye is the coolest. Look at this dude. Unusually for an Ogren, Eddie has developed a bit of a taste for the finer things. He's become rather fond of expensive fabrics, elaborate patterns, gold shinies, and even food that a regular human would find palatable. This has led to his squad mates giving him the mocking Lord moniker. These quirks aside, it is generally agreed that Eddie is a solid, dependable warrior who can be trusted to get his hands dirty when the situation requires it. People often remark on the two skulls that Eddie proudly wears around his neck, though never within his earshot. Some say he talks them at night, though no one has ever been brave enough to inquire as to their provenance. Some stories are probably best left untold. That's a good question. I still can't get over the fact that this is basically a Robocop. He's even- they're even designed like Robo- they look straight up like Robocop. If I can just open my fucking web browser. It will not let me web browse. Did they kill the web browser? Is it only locked to Steam? Oh, here it is. I was just looking. I was just doing the wrong thing. I'm dumb. Uh, Robocop. <laughs> oh my god, yes. That's- it was intentional. That- it does- it is designed after Robocop. I love it. Like straight up, it is this is intended to be a Rubicop reference. Part man, part machine, all cop. Alright, fine. Fuck it. I'm spending my premium currency, finally, on the Robocot skin. I'm glad I hold on held on to it for as long as I did. I'm honestly glad I held on to that money as long as I did. Should I buy this too? Nah, who needs gun skins? It's not like we don't freaking change guns every, every god knows how many times. Okay, upper body. Oh my god, that looks actually really cool. Uh... Not sure how if I care about this though. I mean, it's just all it gives you is spiked knee pads and spiked shoes. Like, whoop de fucking do. Well, let's try them on first to see what they look like and then we'll decide. Eh, it looks uncomfortable. Fuck it, we ball. 
Now I'm, f now I'm the freaking knight, is what I am. Oh, my immersion is broken. The chainsword is clipping through the neck guard. Cancer. I guess we should keep the backpack on after all, huh? It kind of helps to obscure it a bit. Anyway. I do still want us to reach level 30. And I feel like if we play a couple more missions, we'll be able to make it. Get us a decent one. One that we're not going to get killed in anyway. Let's try this one. You have to fly, fly it, Lutimus. This one's probably gonna get us killed. Fuck it, we ball. Alright. Last last mission of the night, I swear. Assuming we reach level 30. Assuming we don't Heretic fail. Activity in Bronzite has reached unacceptable levels. It's time to act. Infiltration points in Enclave Copper. Should be child's play to reach Enclave Barrows from there. Cleanse the Aegis Station. And keep the heretics out until reinforcements arrive. Oh, mission ready in progress. Cowards, they're hiding! The path leads down! No sense waiting, eh? I should have just switched to pistol though for maximum or like maximum role play. Oh my god. Please do not piss off the demon hosts. Where am I? You 
Yeah, another well-planned foray, indeed. Advertisements done at last. Oh my god, I can't see. I literally cannot see what I'm slashing at. I can't kill them quickly enough to activate my healing either. Wait, there we go. Oh god. Yeah, I was close. Steel, thank you for the sl oh my god, I've been slimed. Man, it's being slimed twice in one evening. How embarrassing. And we're not doing so well. Oh god, it's looking bad, chat. Nope, we're being saved. Got to return the favor. Let your beauty Good thing we have so much healing. <laughs> Why is Nidia down? Oh well. I don't know why we split up just now, but hey, better than me than me, I suppose. 
Was Necromunda a bust then? Necromunda was... Ne was fucking unplayable as shit. When it wasn't... Uh, just having these glitches that are from the, from the early 2000s where you just get stuck in random wall geometry. The gameplay, even on the easy on normal difficulty, was essentially just... Make it so that enemies do less damage to you. But everyone was a fucking bullet sponge. Like, there's some... Like, the game also prides itself on being super highly mobile, right? Well, there... This one side mission I was trying to do... There's... You could try to play it super mobile and stuff, but there's no point because it's extremely open. You can't really... Your enemies have perfect aim, so you can't really dodge anyone. And the most optimal way to play it was to literally just play peekaboo out of this really tiny ass corridor. Which, by the way, makes it impossible to dodge when your enemies decide to fucking drop grenades on you. And the objective was to kill all the leaders, and you have to kill six of them. And it took forever and a day to just kill one. Not because they were hard, but because they had more fucking HP. They had more fucking like filler than the American release of Naruto the original Naruto not Shippuden so at that point I was really annoyed to tears and I'm just like this is this game is not worth my time I'm not gonna sit here just so and just cheese the shit out of this fucking side mission because if this is how bad the side missions are I can't imagine what the so-called story missions must be like so yeah after that I was like you know what fuck it dark tide like I mean I don't even remember I divine cyromancy being that bad it's just it was it was pathetic I can't believe that game was developed in the 20... late 2010s? Early 20... in like the late 2010s because it was bad. So... yeah, I, I don't think I want to play Necromunda again. It's just... Normally it has the sort of stuff that I would enjoy, but it's held down by everything else. Also... Who fucking designed the inventory system and how you switch guns and shit and your loadouts? Like, I don't understand. I don't know. The devs aren't stupid, right? I don't see why they try to make it different from every other FPS system's inventory management. Or any game for that matter made in the modern day. It's not unique, it's not innovative, it's fucking annoying as hell, and completely and utterly um, non-intuitive. I could learn from I could learn from that instead of committing to games hope, hoping they'll only be shitty for a bit and eventually get better. Yeah, and you know Necromunda is not exactly a new game. It's been around for a little bit. I'm fairly sure the devs aren't going to work on it any further, but it's just like, I don't know. Now, Dark Tide is not exactly the best game either. It's very unoptimized. The missions do get repetitive after a while. Development is really slow. It's lost all of its goodwill of the fan- Fat Shark lost all of its goodwill of its current fans. That's why there's only around 1,300 people online right now. And all they pretty much learned nothing from Vermintide about what their players actually want. And yet, in spite of that, they got all the modern features that are expect to be expected of most games these days working. And the gameplay just works. It's fucking playable. How's that say? How's that sound? <laughs> Like, I mean, granted, Necromunda is a single-player game, 
And I can't do all the quick... I can't do all the cool, like, uh, kill shots and all the parkouring and jumping around and shit. All stuff that makes Necromunda cool. Because everything that's wrong with Necromunda holds it down so much that you can't enjoy the stuff that makes it unique. Because once again... Okay. So, you can do all this parkouring and wall running and all this cool shit, right? But, what the hell is the point if doing so is going to get you killed off the bat? And is it really fun to... Here's the thing, the other thing with the wall running and all the parkour mechanics. The, just like in Dirty Bomb, the game enforces inaccuracy regardless of how good you are at actually clicking on the heads while wall running, right? And this is a game that I just mentioned. The game, the difficulty of the game is that everyone's a fucking bullet sponge. So, is it really fun to be wall running in a fucking giant circle for 15 minutes, shooting at the same static enemy who just sits there with his fucking shield and with his obscene amount of health? Do you want to do this six times in a row in order to complete the mission? So I sure as hell don't want to do deal with that. Steel, you know I have an extremely high tolerance for bullshit games too. So the fact that I'm really this actually this annoyed and I'm still ranting about this up to now while mindlessly clicking and chopping the pieces out of zombies, you know I'm pissed. <laughs> I am actually that upset. <laughs> God damn it. Thanks for the head pat. Also, Dark Tide, more even more so than Vermintide somehow. Scratch oh my god. Really scratches that itch I've always I've been having for a while. Where I wanted a game that I can just pretty much turn off my brain and just Mindlessly destroy shit. Which is pretty much how I treat Dark Tide. Except it has a multiplayer component too. But unlike the other co-op horde shooter type games, the community that st stays with Dark Tide in spite of all its problems are pretty much just role players and people who don't take anything seriously. Because they know this game is a fucking meme. This is not the game that anyone neckbeards. No one fucking really- there are a few people that really go out of their way to like speedrun this shit, to like optimize it for- to get maximum credits and whatever the fuck. But the average person- th most people don't give a shit. This is just for the Emperor, fuck around, and kill thing time. And that's the sort of game, that sort of mindless gameplay that I really miss from FPSs. That's why I still enjoy Dark Tide, in spite of realize, in spite of acknowledging that this too is a is a prime example of Lee end stage capitalism raping. I'm probably not allowed to say I'm not allowed to say the word that word on stream. I'm so sorry, Twitch gods, please do not ban me. This is just, I know Dark Tide is a prime example of everything that's wrong with the gaming industry, but unlike a lot of AAA games, at least Dark Tide actually play, actually works. That's more than can be said, that's more than can be said for, what, Battlefield and shit on release? Vermintide has a surprising amount of viable builds, which is great. Yeah, but you know, and let me, let me uh, clarify, Vermintide's still a great game. In spite of its issues, I don't mind playing Vermintide with friends and whatnot. But, like, read that the different archetypes actually feel distinct, yeah. But, like, I don't know. This is, like, my. I don't really have that much in the way of games that I play to de stress. And you wouldn't expect Dark Tide to be that, but I would say Dark Tide is the game that I play if I want stress relief. It is imminently satisfying to commit mass murder with a fucking chainsword. I 
have a minor orgasm every time my chainsword goes through a zombie and splits them in half. The fucking shotgun has so much feedback. I accidentally pissed off the demon host just now because I wasn't paying attention. Oh shit. Also, I'm dead. <laughs> Reject modernity and come play TFT with you. Yeah, that's also a good thing. That's also a thing that can be done. I think I accidentally cost the game, cost this team the game by accidentally shooting the demon host just now. Oh. Oh fuck! I accidentally cost us the game just now. I at least I reached level 30. I maxed out my character finally. I guess this means I could go play veteran and go roleplay as a commissar now, huh? Everyone loves a game that was made for a lower end machine 15 years ago and still can't run well on new hardware. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Wow. I I just when I started ranting about Necromunda just now, I really just blocked out everything. I was I was on autopilot then. It's kinda of funny that I accidentally shot the demon host with a buckshot weapon from that far away. And it's a credit it's a I was talking about earlier about how I love how shotguns in this game actually can be used at a distance, right? Because it hit the demon host. <laughs> throwing, 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 throwing. Now that I'm level 30, or now that I've maxed out my Zealot Preacher, maybe it's time to make a sharpshooter. Hey, to make a uh, to make a veteran. Combat shovels and plasma guns. Uh... It needs to be Kadia. I forgot that this. I forgot that at the beginning of this game, you actually have to do character creation. The Rosarians actually kind of. I like I like this uh, background where they're basically hillbillies, but I kind of like. I kind of like these kind of farmer agricultural types. High violence, huh? But I want to be from Cadia. Just because I'm Kadia stands. I wonder why Kadia is considered part of the Mobian domain. That's interesting. That must be the Eye of Terror over there then. If that's Kadia.
childhood. Once character is defined by childhood experience, or so they say, like so many others in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, you had a tough upbringing, but unlike many, you got through it with scars to prove it. Are giving in a broken skull of progenium. I'm going to be making a commissar, so. Kitty was in the inside job, don't listen to the lying CNN. There aren't a lot of options for folk like you growing up, but you had to find a way to overcome the trials of youth of fa by fair means or foul. Was I enlisted? A hive ganger? No. Comfort through discipline? Conscripted? No. Hive guide? Witness to a crime? Uh Saved by the Sarge Gave her a life to save you, that's interesting. Or was I decorated for bravery? Warp Storm. NCO. Decorate for bravery. Appearance. What are we going for this time? I'm gonna make him have black hair actually. <laughs> that looks dumb. That's alright. No facial hair, facial tattoos. No fish. Duties forever, body tattoos. Kitty and news network. Do that scars. Remove the scar. Don't need. Don't need the scar. Asian. Oh, I know who I should be making. She's no, she graduated from VTubing a while back, but. There's a meme where Did I forget her name already? Damn. That's sad. There's a V to a Filipino VTuber who graduated recently who was depicted in a patch as a commissar. 
I can't believe I forgot her name already. Why did I forget her name already? It's weird. It must be late. It's probably just because it's late. But I thought that was kind of neat. I like the hair physics that you got going on here. Shame that that one's kind of fucked up. Not, no, I'm not thinking Tatiana. I'm trying to remember her name and I feel bad that I can't remember. The she was in Komita. Her name was... Ah, there she is. I recognize that picture anywhere. Um... Because Kometa is the Filipino VTuber corporation, VTuber company. Uh... Virgil. Her name was Virgil. Oh. Huh. Oh. Uh. Huh. The entirety of Komata's first generation graduated. All of them are gone. Elaine left because of health problems. And then it doesn't say why the rest left. I guess they just got tired. Hey Dash Karos. Um I just reached level 30 in my pre in my uh, preacher and I wanted the commissar helmet commissar hat that the veterans have and all their other cool clothing. So I figured at this point I might as well make a make a veteran so I can play them later. I think it's kind of dumb that I can't just use the same, that you can't share the costume pieces between Preacher and Veteran, given that the uh, some of the custom clothes look exactly the same for both of them, but, you know. Oh, not a Vaudry run. I was asking because the game should be offline for maintenance now, but you're still on. Oh. I was wondering why I was kicked off the uh, server. I thought it was just the game being like, yeah. It's time for you to stop playing. <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm just uh, making a veteran character. So I could pop in later and uh, purchase the costume pieces for veteran. So I can roleplay as a commissar. Which one of these looks the least old? I'll use this one. And you know what? Remove, we'll remove the facial tattoo since I already decided I'm going to make this character based off of the VTuber, or former VTuber Virgil from Komata. That means I'll have to go ahead and remove all this stuff. <laughs> she would probably laugh if she saw that someone was making a character in Dark Tide based off her anyway. Maybe you didn't throw the match and you got disconnected? Maybe? I mean. It saw that she was showing the screen where everyone was downed, but I thought it was strange that it took so long for the game to register that we had all lost. Because usually, if at least one person's still alive, it's going to keep going. 
Your life choices have molded you to the person you are today. They have been happiness in your life, sure, but you've been left plenty of scars. This is what you become. I watched a world die. Eight thousand years of defiance gone in an eye blink. With it went some of the finest soldiers I had the honor to serve alongside. Not for glory. The voice acting in this game is fucking victory. amazing, also. Not even for defiance. But because sooner or later, the void swallows everything. I learned something that day. No world, no bestian, maybe no faith, is impregnable. The agents of the enemy are everywhere. Watching, plotting, waiting. Only thing to be done with heresy is to root it out with fire and steel. Ah, uh, I love the Scottish voice acting in this game so much. Just another day in the Imperial Guard. Only, I'm not even part of the Guard any longer. Not since that business with the Commissar, the Court Martial and the Olden Cell. Now I'm part of this merry band of maniacs, for better or worse. Still figuring out what that means exactly. But most of it seems to be putting the booting on the Emperor's enemies. They're not getting executed for meeting the wrong stare, funny. So I guess I'm better off. At least. So long as the ammo and grub doesn't run out. <laughs> Let me get a picture here of Virgil just so I can... Yeah, it looks fairly accurate. At least as accurate as you can get in this game. Watch the shot! It's not even showing the voice for loose cannon. Stick with me and we'll get through this. Guess you're playing the professional. And this just changes what color your garb is. Virgil, you were born in Cadia, the promising scion of an Imperial officer slain in battle. You were raised in the Skull of Progenium, where you learned to be an uncompromising soldier of the Imperium. Though subjected to an environment of endless toil and unimaginable, unimaginable hardship, you refused to be broken, developing an iron will and an ordered disciplined mind that have served you well to this day. You were awarded the Mobian Star of Valor for your selfless actions during the Fringe War campaign. You were declared unfaithful by a famous deacon of Crucius. Most knew the charges stemmed from the audacity of questioning the deacon's lavish lifestyle, but you were sent to the prison ship Tancred Bastion all the same. Does Virgil have a surname as well? Or is she just called Virgil? Virgil only managed to stream for three years before she graduated. Sad. Wonder what she's up to now. Let's skip the prologue. I don't want to fuck with that right now. Heresy grows from idleness. So here we go. Virgil has been made. The veteran sharpshooter won. However, we're supposedly under maintenance. So I can't even make the... 
I can't even get into the game to make the purchase of the Commissar hat. All in due time, I'm sure. In the meanwhile, it is four. It is we've been streaming for four hours and forty seconds. I definitely need to go to bed. It's literally two forty-one in the morning. In the meanwhile, though, let's go ahead and find someone to raid. Oh, that's that doesn't work. Welcome to everyone that joined in during tonight's stream as well. You've all been truly wonderful, as someone likes to say. Shit, man, it's 2.41 in the morning. I really need to get a hang. Uh, hold on, a hang on my sleeping habits, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Mai is doing some late night ASMR again. But I see Ventahack is playing Guilty Memes Thrive. And he only has a few people online. He hasn't been streaming in a while, so let's go say hi to him. Let's give him a scare, shall we? Tatsugeki raid for tonight's raid message. Once again, thank you everyone for visiting. If you would like to see more of my content, I do try to stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Usually four hours, or usually earlier than this. But I may have to change my streaming time to earlier, later in the evening anyway because of other stuff I got going on during the day, which is conflicting. We'll be playing something next Monday. Maybe Dark Tibes. I don't want to play Necromunda again. Maybe Nightmare Reaper. We'll see. Thank you everyone for sticking with me this evening and have a good night.